Too ha, too ha! Once the record with Justin and the actors is done, he then sends me the selected and alternate takes and I create an audio assembly from that. Once I've assembled the audio, I send it to Freight and he goes away and animates. When we hit Vision Lock Off, he sends it back to me with the synced audio. I write up a brief and then send that to our sound designer who then goes away and starts doing the sound design. Brett sends me a locked edit of the animation, which also contains the, the dialogue tracks that we recorded, the takes that were chosen from the performances, and then it's my job to create the rest of the sound and to create a final mix. I have an almost completely blank canvas. All I have is the voices and the performances from the actors. And what I need to do is create the atmospheres, all of the footfalls and movements and things flying around, and of course the monsters. So the first thing I'll do is just take a look at the dialogue tracks and make sure that all the volumes are, are relative to each other and they're all audible. Then I'll take a look at the atmoses, create a wash behind the action, just to give myself a sense of the place. Then I really start to take a look at the big sound effects that we're going to need to achieve. In this episode, we have a condor ape who's huge and he's a bird and he's an ape. So there's a few challenges in there. And then it's really down to business. That means all of the movements that you would expect to hear, all of the footfalls, all of the arm movements, sticks flying, rocks flying, people flying, they all need to go in. Okay, so at the moment I'm just taking a look at the condor rape. So these top channels here, these top four channels, um, that's the set for the chest thumps. And then down below we've got the sound of rustling leaves, but it's actually meant for his feathers. We have an element here which is the sound of the fists hitting the ground, just that extra boom. These two sounds here are the vocalizations of the uh, condor ape. Okay, that's one part of the sound, and here's the other part, this part here. And that's actually me, and I've processed, I've processed my own vocalization, and what I'll do is mix and edit those together to create. Okay, so if we put all of these sounds together, then it sounds a bit like this. Of course, then we need to put the dialogue back in. So I'll just unmute those and we'll play them to the track. Oh crap! Whoa! Oh, shut it! So once all the sounds are in, I create the final mix and spend some time just levelling all of the sounds out and making sure that everything has the impact that we want it to have and we, we sign off the sound, which is then delivered uh, as a quick time, attached to the quick time locked edit and I also create a WAV file that is the entire mix with the English dialogue plus a WAV file which is the mix without any dialogue so that the show can be reversioned in foreign territories and performed by different actors in different languages. So, once we've locked off the audio, I then send it to Freight. He assembles a final master and we send that on to Channel Flip and we're done. And you'll get to see this episode we've talked about and plenty more real soon. <laughs>